Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I'm Christine Pilara. So happy to be with you. This is Atlanta and Company. And um, I wanted to get into the festive spirit. This morning, I actually had the thought of moving the whole camera equipment, all of it, the light, into my family room because I have the tree, I've got the stockings, and it looks so cute, I think, personally. Um, the lights are wrong, but that's okay. Um, but then I thought, Uno, Kate comes in the shot, it would be chaos. So instead, I took a poinsettia, and it's right here, just to kind of, you know, show that I am truly in the holiday spirit. But I'll do more. I'm going to decorate this area out. I'm going to just deck it out. I'm going to deck the halls, Kara Kinnear. Mm, I can't wait. Um, cool you know, our lovely viewers, they often write in and they suggest how we should decorate the backgrounds, which I enjoy. So I'm sure there are lots of people that are really excited about us both getting a little festive. Yes. Um, all right. Should we start off with the It's All Good story? Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. We do it every morning. All right. Um, here we go. So I, this first one, hang with me. It's, I would say, in a word, miraculous. Okay. Uh, a lot of families are formed in miraculous ways. And Kelsey's is no exception. So let's start at the beginning. About... Three years ago, four years ago now, her and her husband, Kyle, were trying to conceive, and they had a hard time, and two years went by, three years went by, many IVF treatments, trying to conceive. So here's what happened. Um, into the process, you know, she had given up and, and was very defeated, but she had told her mother, you know, if we can get more money, we can keep doing IVF, uh, let's keep trying. Her mother thought, you know what, I can't give you the money to continue with IVF, but she was a super young mom, 53 years old. So she said, maybe I can be the surrogate for your child. So they tried. She got pregnant right away with Kelsey and Kyle's embryo. Um, she was so happy to do this. You know, in the article, she said, you want to make things easier for your child. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it easier uh, for her. And I wanted to make her dream come true, her and her husband's dream come true. So Kelsey was ecstatic. She couldn't believe it. Her mother pregnant with their child. She was in the habit because for so many years she had just taken a pregnancy test. You can guess where this is going. She takes a pregnancy no. test, stopped all treatment, and uh, was pregnant. Found out a month after her mother <laughs> that she was also pregnant. So here we go. Here's Ava and Everly, oh! born seven weeks apart. They got to go through their pregnancies together, mother and daughter. And, you know, Kelsey just said, I keep pinching myself. I cannot believe that I'm the mother of these two beautiful baby girls. They are so beautiful and so precious. And, I mean, what a journey for that family. Can you believe Kara, it? Kara, I cannot believe it. I'm, like, teary-eyed. And these stories always make me cry, happy tears, but that is absolutely incredible. And I've heard stories where when somebody, a couple may say, finally, I give up, that mm -hmm. then they become pregnant and, you know, it's just almost like your body's saying like, let's calm down, let's give it a rest. And then, you know, the miracle happens, but to have two miracles happen and then the mother be a part of that amazing journey, like you said, just incredible. They are precious. Yeah. I know, beautiful babies, those babies are so cute. I know, I, to add to your point, um, my best friend from, like, since I was born, uh, had a really hard time, and now she is currently pregnant with her fifth child. No way. So, there you go. Kara, <laughs> um, she's my hero, right. by the way. Five, mm. I can't, I can barely handle two. <laughs> and throw Jim and Uno in there, it's all just a mess. It's, it's, everything's happening. Everything's happening. It's all just little blessings upon blessings. Blessings upon blessings. All right, let's get to this last one really quickly because it's a short story, but it's a good one. We love telling these sorts of stories. Hannah wanted to promote a little kindness, so she thought, you know what, I've always wanted to put a message in a bottle. She lives on the beach in Maine, so that's what she did. She put a message in the bottle saying, if you can be anything in this world, be kind with a friendship bracelet and her telephone number in case uh, you wanted to connect with her and you found the letter. She wanted to see who found it. Uh, a few weeks later, just down the beach, a young woman named Kendall, who was cleaning up trash on the beach, saw this bottle, about threw it away, and then realized that there was indeed a message in it. She texted uh, Hannah, and they became friends, and they are paying it forward and promoting that kindness, because if you can be anything, be kind. I love that. I'll leave you with that, my friend. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. 
<laughs> I want to do a, a time capsule. I, want, I mean, that is a message in a bottle. I love when we do these stories and, and you know, seeing somebody receive it in the excitement and then in this case uh, a friendship developed so mm -hmm. that's so awesome Kara thank you so much my dear thank love you, you so much and guys if you have a fun or interesting it's all good story for Kara please share it with us it's facebook.com slash ATL and co or tweet us using that hashtag it's all good